Here's a compound interest problem where we're solving for the present value given the future value. So suppose that you know that you'll need $40,000 for your child's education in 18 years. You have an account that earns 4% compounded quarterly, so that tells us that this is compound interest. And the question asks, how much will you need to deposit now to reach your goal? So again, we're given the future value that we want to have, and we're asked to find how much we need today to deposit to make that happen. But we use the same formula. So we use the same future value formula for compound interest. And that's what really makes these formulas useful, is that we can use it to answer both questions. Given this formula, we can either give a present value and ask for the future value that the account will earn, or we can give a future value and ask how much we need today to make that happen. So all we do is fill in all the pieces we know. The future value, the amount we want at the end, is 40,000. The present value is the unknown. The interest rate is 4%, so we write that as 0 0.04. N here is 4, because we're told it's compounded quarterly, and quarterly means four times every year. So then the exponent is 4 times the 18 years that this account will be active. Now to solve for P, what I'm going to do is simplify everything on the right side and then divide both sides by that amount to solve for P. So we'll start inside the parentheses. Type in 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 4. So the amount inside the parentheses is 1.01. .01. Again, to avoid rounding errors, I'm not going to type that in again but I'll let the calculator save that answer. And I want to raise that to the power of 4 times 18. Again, being careful to put that in parentheses so that the calculator first multiplies 4 times 18 and then raises 1.01 .01 to that power. And that equals 2.047, etc. So I have 40,000 equals P times 2.047, etc., but I have to round it off somewhere, so I'll round it off there. Again, though, I'm not going to type in 40,000 divided by 2.047, because that might introduce some small rounding errors. Instead, I'll let the calculator keep that full answer, so I'll type in 40,000 divided by, and then I look for the answer key, which is the second function on the negative button. So I hit second answer, 40,000 divided by the answer, and that tells me that the present value P is 19,539.84. So if I were to deposit $19,539.84 today, in 18 years that account would hold $40,000. So it would more than double in that time.